That means these guys push on the wall hard, and these guys push on the wall not as hard. So the pressure on the wall here is low, the push, and the pressure is high. So also pressure comes in with the speed of motion. Okay, now good. Okay, and you can probably tell right now that there's a little steam coming out the top of this uh, soda can. Because I have a little bit of water in it, okay, that we had a flame on it. So there's a whole lot of steam. Just like that simulation that we have behind us, those particles now are beating against the side of the wall of the soda can very hard, okay? They're moving very fast. What if I was to pull them down quickly? What do you think might happen? <laughs> might, the, might the can actually, something might happen to the can, right? But we have to make sure we close it off from the atmosphere too at the same time. So right here is just a cold water bath. Remember, there's atmospheric pressure pressing down on us all the time. We're going to show that in a second too. But let's take a look at what that atmospheric pressure can do when you actually reduce the pressure inside an object. Spin us over, and the can crush it. Just like that. It happens instantaneously because it's been closed off from the atmosphere and it all goes. It just gets crushed just like that. So we'll turn this off. And now we're going to take a look at our friends, the holiday peeps. Let's see if they can come on up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, remember that we used to make these for around the, uh, I believe it was the Easter holiday, we used to make the little chicks right out of the marshmallows. Now, what's inside a marshmallow? Air, in what form? Little pockets, right? Little pockets of air. In this bell jar right here, it still has atmospheric pressure. Now those air pockets and the air and the particles in there are beating against the outside of this marshmallow from the inside, and then there's air pressure beating against the outside of the marshmallow from the outside, and there's a balance, just like on you. But if I was to put you in a bell jar like I have these peeps in a bell jar, and go ahead and take all the atmosphere out of there, let's see what might happen to you. Let's see what happens to these peeps. If I go ahead now and let the air in, what do you think might happen? It might get a little smaller, right? Because we're going to reintroduce all those particles from the outside, all that atmospheric pressure, and let's see what happens to them. Down they go. And they get a lot smaller than before. Right. So we took away the atmospheric pressure, then we let it back in, and there goes those, that, there goes those peeps. But what's this? Are they strong? They're made of steel. Yeah, they're very strong. But remember, atmospheric pressure is actually a pretty strong force by itself. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use that same vacuum pump. We're actually going to turn this on. And we're going to let all the atmosphere pull out of this. What might happen here? Uh, Did you see our peaks before? After we took the air out of them and let the atmosphere back in, what happened to our peaks? They got pretty small, didn't they? Well, we have to wait a little bit, but once we take all those particles out of the inside of this, the ones that are beating on the outside of the inside wall, and we only have particles beating on the outside wall, something might happen to this drum. And I'm not going to tell you what, I'm going to let you imagine it, but you surprised all the can on your way in. And that's the one from last night. And it happens suddenly, and I have no idea when. <laughs> could be a minute, could be two minutes. It would be very quickly. We don't really know. But I'm going to let it be a surprise. 